Okay, welcome to the uh, How I Spent My Summer Vacation uh, episode of Linux Music One, starting season two. Usually, as as you probably know, we do synthesizers, digital audio workstations, that kind of thing. This year, we're going to start with something a little different, uh, more as an audio consumer. This first one is how to set up a streaming uh, server in your home, then we'll go on to what is digital music, how's it work, uh, that leads into some best practices for ripping or uh, storing audio. So anyway, this is uh, how I spent my summer vacation. Very cool, Raspberry Pi. I'll set up your own Pandora or Spotify, whatever, inside your house for, uh, hey, for almost no bucks. You'll love it. So stick with me. Here we go. Okay, well, let's get started here. Uh, the first thing I want to say is this is, uh, there's a lot of steps involved in this. And so uh, if you come here to this website, which is kind of the website of this video series, uh, here's a, a blog entry and a link to a PDF file that's got all this uh, in detail, step by step by step. Uh, is, there's too many steps here to try to work through it with just a video so I just kind of want to show you the overview and then here you'll find all the step by step by steps so uh, Linux Music One, Lou Wilkinson US so here we go here's a Raspberry Pi and this summer I thought I'd uh, uh, experiment with it a little bit as you can see, it easily fits in your hand. It's about the size of a credit card, maybe a little bigger. Costs about 35 bucks. Uh, runs uh, a variety of different operating systems. The one we're going to look at is Debian, uh, or Raspbian as they call it for a Raspberry Pi Debian system. If you're using Linux, uh, it's it's really straightforward. It's a it's a full Linux operating system on this. Um, here you can see the network cable and USB plugs. Uh, this is a really, really cool little computer. And here it is, hooked to a uh, USB drive. Uh, and you can see the network cable and the USB drive plugged in. And this is where, even though this is the computer, and it will run off a little card, this is, uh, you know, I mean, it won't hold a lot of music, so we've got a standalone USB drive hooked to it with all of our music, et cetera, et cetera. So let's, uh, let's kind of go through this. I'm going to give you the overview. This is going to be a very short session. Uh, here we go. Okay, so first, you're going to get a Raspberry Pi. Uh, and it's, you're going to get it with a Debian card because that'll make things a lot easier. If you don't get it with the Debian card, like I said, this thing is 35 bucks. I think it's an extra 5 bucks for the Raspbian card. Uh, if you don't have that 5 bucks, uh, the instructions, the detailed instructions will show you, walk you through how to uh, put Debian on the card you get. We're going to do a headless install, which means that this thing is never going to have a monitor and keyboard hooked to it. Uh, doesn't need to. Uh, we're going to uh, jump into it from another computer uh, on your home network and do any of the operations we need to do to it to uh, just from your other computer. Uh, you're going to end up getting on it fairly rarely. Uh, I mean, certainly once you have all your music on it and it's just running. Uh, this thing runs for, uh, so far, months at a time without uh, me having to get involved other than put more music on it and that kind of stuff. And let me also say, uh, this is putting up a streaming service in, in your home network. So, uh, like Pandora or Spotify or something else. And those streaming clients, the ones that are on your phones or your laptops or your TVs or wherever you're streaming, uh, two, they want things to be tagged. So uh, make sure that you, if they're MP3s or FLAX or whatever they are, that you have your audio files well tagged. Uh, that'll make your life uh, as a user of this thing you've put up a lot easier. Secondly, because, or thirdly, because uh, those cards, those little uh, SD cards, as you probably know, are notoriously uh, prone to failure. So we're going to move the, uh, after we do the headless install 
and get uh, Debian all set up on this Raspberry Pi. We're going to actually move the operating system to the USB device. It's a lot more stable. Uh, you won't come up, uh, hopefully, uh, in, a, in a month or 60 days or 90 days or whatever it is and find out that you've crashed because the card failed. Uh, that being said, let me also say there's no substitute for backups. Uh, you're going to do a, a bit of work here. I think uh, start to finish from uh, getting the Raspberry Pi to where I started just loading up audio files was probably you know, two to four hours all told. Um, mostly because, you know, I'm messing around with it and trying to learn as as you are and that stuff but still you've got four hours if you've loaded up these audio files and spent time tagging them uh, you've got a lot of time invested in this thing so uh, good backups good backups and so we'll do a session later about uh, some some easy ways to to back up computers but that's not this session uh, next since it's in your house things are going to be much easier if you give it a static IP address uh, and like I said in the step-by-step -step instructions uh, are the uh, how you go about that we're going to install Samba so you can play uh, your music files on Windows laptops or uh, whatever it is that would want that and the last bit of detail I've done a lot of Samba stuff uh, through the course of my career and while it's not best practices uh, it is certainly much easier if you make a share uh, the Samba share from the root. So, you know, in, in root you've got uh, home and etc. and user and all those other things just make uh, the Samba share from the root. Now, certainly if you're, if you're hip to uh, partitions and uh, logical uh, file management or vol volume management, you're probably not watching this. Uh, but you can take it even a step further and put it on its own uh, partition, but we won't get into that here. Just share it from the root. And, and again, that's in the detailed instructions. Uh, and I, I really encourage that because it just, it just makes things easier when you're moving files to it and from it. Next, you're going to install mini DLNA, DLNA. That is a little server. It is very lightweight, works great. I've been, uh, running I think I've got about 28,000 uh, audio files and a few video uh, files in my on my USB drive this thing will run uh, four separate audio streams in the house so that you know I got four separate PCs listening to different things uh, off the off this server and it just handles it there's no glitches no static no anything else uh, lastly, you're going to uh, load up your audio files, and then you're going to live happily ever after, and you'll be very happy with this. I think uh, identified uh, electricity seven or 11 cents a kilowatt hour where I live, and you can run this. I measured uh, the electric output, and you can run this thing uh, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and at 11 cents a kilowatt hour, it's three bucks a year. To have this server running uh, constantly from your house so again uh, little Raspberry Pi little uh, uh, little tiny device here very cool uh, 35 40 bucks you're in you've got a three dollar a year expense and your your own private Pandora your own private Spotify with just your stuff running in your house network and like I said, I didn't get too much into it. Just the, the main big steps here, you know, do a headless install, move the operating system to the USB, give it a static IP. But if you come here to this website, click here, all of these uh, steps, step by step, you can't possibly go wrong. I did not, all, all those steps and how to do this, I did not do any of that. Uh, they're all links to other places with people that have put out uh, great, great uh, instructions on how to do the various components. The guy that uh, Robert Lockwood, I think his name is, that set up the uh, how to do the headless install. Very easy. A uh, little philosophy in there about about why you're doing what you're doing. You're going to learn a ton about 
uh, how Linux works and files and, and uh, the operating system itself going through it, and it's entirely painless, all in English. Uh, he assumes the crowd he's talking to is, uh, is actually uh, potential authors that are only doing this uh, to set up a, a book streaming or book uh, service, so it's, it's well written. Uh, given the server a static IP, very clean and easy to do. Uh, every one of these, I, uh, I picked the links because they were the ones that I used to set this up, and it's just slick as could be. Uh, so that's it. Uh, go here, pull this document down, uh, get yourself a Raspberry Pi, and a, a couple terabyte USB drive, uh, load up all your tunes, and, and away you go. So that's it. Uh, we'll see you next week. Okay, well, it's just that easy. So I hope that you'll pop over to Linux Music One at lewilkinson.us, uh, grab the file, uh, send Ada Fruit or somebody 35 bucks, uh, set up a streaming server. Remember, all this stuff you don't get any you don't get any better if you don't actually do it. You can't watch a video and. And expect to have mastered it. You gotta, you gotta get in there, roll up your sleeves, and have some fun. So, that ends this week, and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye.